Welcome back everyone. So the first several videos I want to do in this series is about the Vestron video collection. A little history on Vestron is they were a production company from the early 80s to the early 90s. Uh, they pretty much strictly only did B movies and if you don't recognize any of the movies here one movie I know for sure you have at least heard of is Dirty Dancing. Now Vestron did not make every single one of these films and that's because in the early 90s they end up filing bankruptcy, uh, they were bought out by a different company. Then as of 2003, the current owner of Vestron Video is Lionsgate. Now Lionsgate owns several different companies, so they could add whatever they want to this Vestron Video Collector series. But regardless on who made what, I'm here to introduce you to these films and why I think you should give them a chance. So with that being said, let's jump right in. The first movie I want to start with is Chopping Mall which originally released in 1986. It's definitely a great pick to be the first film that's a part of this Vestron Collector series, but it's also the most misleading one, and that's because of its title. The original title for this film was called Killbots, which will make way more sense when I get into the details, but somewhere down the line they changed it to Chopping Mall, and that makes it sound a little bit more like a slasher, but it's definitely not. So the movie starts off where we see a presentation for these new mall security robots. The heads on these guys kind of remind me of Alpha from Power Rangers. But anyway, they decide to test these robots out for the night. And that's when we start to meet the main characters, where it's a group of young adults that work at the mall, and they decide they want to secretly camp out and you know party and hook up. On the same night these robots are on duty, and these characters decide to camp out, there happens to be a storm, which electrocutes the mall, and turns these robots into killer robots. So now, anytime they see any type of movement, they'll attack by shooting these lasers out of their eyes. What the characters thought was going to be a fun night quickly becomes a nightmare. Now all the doors are locked and they can't even leave them all. But because of where they're stuck at, there's plenty of places to hide, and there's all kinds of things they could use as weapons. One of the fun facts about this film that I thought was really cool was that the actors and actresses actually got to do a lot of their own smaller stunts. You may even recognize this mall, because it was featured in other films like Fast Times at Richmond High, and Commando, and several others. Even the famous Dick Miller has a small role in this movie. He plays the janitor that eventually gets electrocuted. I would have to say one of the most well-known scenes in this film is the famous head explosion. Now there's definitely a lot more explosions in this film, but I'm not going to spoil them all for you. When it comes down to it, I absolutely love this film. It's such a fun one to watch with a group of friends. It's got a good combination of comedy, horror, and action. I would rate this at a 4.5 out of 5 gems. Have you seen Chopping Mall? If so, what did you or did you not like about it? But if you haven't seen it, are you interested now? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you on the next...